Hey, it's Coolio, if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the Archimegalo. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing some more uh, 12 world solo async multi world. I'm not going to bother reciting all the rules again. I've done so twice. I don't need to do it a third time, I don't think. I've got some new features, and I hope that they work. But there's only one way to find out if they work. And that is to start pressing buttons and hope nothing catches fire. Let's do it. I've pressed the start button, and now if I reload the run scene, nothing happens. Um, of course nothing happens. Why would it work? Oh, but the timer is running. Hang on. There we go. We have this thing now, which will show us our progress through every single one of these worlds, as well as how much time we've spent, how much, how many checks we've gotten per game in total. And um, hopefully everything works correctly. We'll see. Uh, as you can see, I've kind of made a lot of progress in a short hike. <laughs> One of these bars is not like the others. It's it's a very big um, sphere one for a short hike, let's be real. Um, but yeah, we're going to be starting. Um, that should not have reset the total time. That's weird. Well, whatever. So yeah, um, oops, that is absolutely not the button I wanted to press. This is the button I wanted to press. Also, the transitions are not set up correctly. Oh well. Uh, there's not a whole lot to do in Final Fantasy XIV, but I figured I'd get it done at the very least. There are five checks. Um, hello. Yes, uh, there are five checks, and I've also made a decision regarding Final Fantasy XIV because there is a total of 400 and... was it 424 checks? I'm looking at like a small version of the scene here. Yeah, 424. We have 24 of them. There are 400 left. Um, so the decision I've come up with is anything that I can do unsynchronized I will do unsynchronized. That is pretty much uh, any dungeon that is 20 or more levels below my actual level for the class. Uh, any raids or trials that are 30 or more levels below the actual level of the class. Um, so Fates, I still have to do Synced. It forces you to uh, Guild Hess forces you to do synced. Um, any alliance raids, I have to do synced as well, or else find two other people to do them with me. Um, so yeah, that is the state of things. But there are five checks that I can do, and all of them I can do unsynced. So we're going to do that. And the first one is Cover Scry. And pretty much we're just going to rush through as much as possible. This one might be a little bit more annoying because like things are spread out a lot.
also if there are some bits of this dungeon that feel like that one place in Super Mario RPG. Yeah, I, ag I agree with that sentiment. That should lead us to the first boss. After a little more spelunking, I guess. This is not Super Mario RPG. Can you believe it? Mostly I can ignore trash. And just shank this guy. Basically going to ignore treasure coffers because uh, I definitely do not need the gear in there. If you get a good group, you can generally actually skip these areas. The sandwiches are in cross code. Here we are at boss number two. Which is dead. That should be the last room transition. We just need to get th through this last bit of caves to get to the third boss. Yeah, like realistically, it's either I do this unsynchronized or I queue for each one of these. The queue is probably going to take like 10 minutes, like 5 to 10 minutes for each dungeon, not to mention actually having to do the dungeon, which is going to take another like 20 minutes. I don't think we need to spend two and a half hours doing five dungeons. I'm just going to auto skip the cutscene. And there we go. That's our first check then. Cutter's Cry. Um, now I need to remember which, uh, which zone that's in. By the way, for, for rec. Uh, like for, just let the record show, my current effective Reaper level is 40. Ah, uh, Cutter's Cry, is that in Thanalan? No. Oh, it's all in Thanalan anyway. Oh, there's a whole thing, Dungeon ARR. Okay, well. Uh, what did that give me? Meaty risotto to Leo. Alright. Uh, next one. Clock Manor.
Oh, the, um, hmm. The counter is a little broken, isn't it? forget where the keys are here. I think the first key is over here, actually. Actually, I probably need to fix that. Just let me, like, directly modify a variable. As an AP Mega dot total checks. Oh, um, that's weird. Oh, I I think I know why that is. It's because it's a different, it's a different overlay. Also, I don't have it disabled. Why would I why would I have it disabled on Tuesdays? There. No group. What? What are you talking about? Oh, this is the wrong room. Are you talking about the voice chat thing? Because uh, Zero wasn't talking about the voice chat thing. I mean, all stream chats includes my stream chat. I I don't know what you're getting at with this conversation, Grim. line up so I can just destroy all of you. I can unlock this door.
And falling damage is percentage based. And also these mobs are um, like 60 levels below me. 60 or 70. So... Alright, um, before I mark off that check, I'm going to make sure that um, I'm getting the correct values to update from. Okay, that should fix the problem. So, Markov Hawk Manor. Uh, it didn't properly update the total number of checks, which is still concerning. Sorry, there's only so much testing that I can do without just running the thing. Hi, Tyrion. Um, sorry, things are running a little roughly right now. Uh, also, uh, in response to your question, uh, this is, uh, I know I explained this before, but maybe you weren't here. Um, this is a manual world. So like, uh, Final Fantasy XIV is not directly connected to the multi-world. I use a separate client that tells me what is in logic or not. And then based on the given rules, I run the things that are in logic, and uh... get some checks out of it. And that's gonna be the shortest one we do. Bull of Embers is our... is the first trial of the game. Uh, let's see, trial ER, Bull of Embers. It is still not updating that total number. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna make a checks plus one button here and I'll try to if I can fix it during the break. Uh, that sent a golden coin to Runeseeker. Here. Uh, next up is the Sunken Temple of Karn. This one should go a little faster because there's not uh, not a whole lot of fuckery happening here. It's mostly just to run to the end.
Except this was not the correct direction. Oh, there we go. Don't mind me coming through. Here comes our first boss. There goes our first boss. And just just to reiterate, um, any duties that I can run unsynchronized, I will run unsynchronized because there are 424 checks in this multi world. So, oh really? That. Okay, this big block thing you're supposed to kill on top of this platform, but apparently th that didn't count as on top of the platform. Move on to the platform. Thank you. There we go. These guys you can simply ignore. Oh right, this uh, this boss does have a little more to it. There we go. I was like, you have to kill the soul stone, and then you can do damage to the boss's main body. I think you can do damage to the boss's main body anyway, but uh, it's like reduced damage, and uh, the boss deals increased damage. Not that it especially matters when. Uh, you're in desync or unsynced rather. Once again, you want this face on top of this platform. And it's going to miss the platform again because everything else was on top of it. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I kind of get what they were going for. Oh, come on, really? kind of get what they were going for with some of these earlier dungeons, but I, I am also glad that they don't really do stuff like this anymore. There we go. It's like half of me is glad that they don't do stuff like this anymore and like the other half is like but this is still kind of creative. Two of them at the same time. And dang way, that is the sunken temple of Karn. Uh, there we go. And that is uh, Maxor for Lunaeus. There's one more thing that is in logic, and that is the Tantara Deepcroft. The second dungeon of the game.
don't need to go there. French fly swarm. Yes, yes, I know it says flush fly. I like my version better. And we pass the steel barrier because we need a thing to open that. That thing is over here. Everything to con to congregate over here, so they can all perish in one or two hits, or three. Away, you violet! So now that we have the cultist rosary. We open the seal barrier. And then we break these remaining two cultist orbs. Which opens the path to the boss of the dungeon. And there we go. So that's everything that's in logic here. Um, where is it? There we go. A rare stone to Kirby. And just to make sure, there is nothing else that is in logic here. Since I'm here, I'm just gonna do this real quick. I'm growing some flowers, and uh, this should make uh, hopefully some uh, rainbow flowers if I did this right. All right. So the total checks should be 295 now. Um, I don't know what the deal is, why it's uh, not showing the correct number, but um, I guess I'll try to figure that out during break. Uh, yes, I uh, want to transition out.
and then I want to select a different game. I think we're gonna go from real MMORPG to fake MMORPG. Why is everything showing up on the side screen? Okay. I still don't know why the colors are so blown out, but uh, that's where we are, I guess. Also, this is like really loud for me. I don't know if it's loud for everyone else. Oh, that's why it's loud for me. It's because it's not coming through. Uh, it's not on the correct channel although it's supposed to be what the fuck hang on yeah that is hmm gonna try reloading the game There we go. I don't know why it didn't work the first time, because like I was looking at the uh at the sound mixer and like it was going through. Yes, thank you. It was going through the uh the correct uh sound channel. Anyway, um I think there's some dead zone issues that are happening with this controller and uh i do have another controller slowly on the way it's just gonna take a while to get here i think let's get me uh warmed up here Oh boy. Get out of that fight before I die. Okay. Um all right, I need to close the uh, manual point there. I guess I don't need to, but there's no reason for it to be connected. trying to think of where I need to go next. Can I get that? Mm. I think I can. I just have to go through back around to this side. Wait, what's That's weird. There's like a little overhang there. Oh, okay. Yeah, we need to be able to access through here. 
and then climb that, jump to there. I think. Anyway, I don't think I can get these chests yet. That's what it comes down to. That was a good idea to grind a little experience. So this is going back toward the base of the mountain. That's not where we need to go. Right. Yeah, I forgot that I was uh, trying to do this last time, and uh, ran out of time. Let's get out of my way. Oh my goodness, like the colors are all blown out and I don't understand. Ah, I'll try that again later. Maybe. Oh right, these snowmen. They, uh, they are the first auto-aggro enemy. They're also kicking my ass, holy crap. Oh, that is that was not the way to go. When you're being pursued by an enemy, maybe don't jump into the water. I think it I think it's probably in my best interest to go to Bergen Village as uh, as soon as possible. So I can get some new gear. I think my gear is starting to get a little outdated here, yeah. So I think I'm just going to go to Bergen Village. Um, this way. Do I have to go around? Oh geez, there are two of them. See if I can avoid them. Cold does not. Yeah, you can configure your uh, your sensors to actually feel this cold if you really want to. Most people probably don't. Okay. I 
just fell down to the bottom. I'm trying to remember how to get through this. Okay. Can go as far as you can, shoot that thing. Tricky laser bridge. Let me get this. It's a card slot to Rune Seeker. I'm not going to be able to do anything here until I get fire. Oh no, it's just a perfectly normal rock. I cannot cast Fireball yet, no. Just trying to remember where everything is, because there's a, there's a lot in this game, I don't know if you know. Oh, don't worry about it, let's just run. chest here. Um, slight jumping puzzle. Five levels of Black Mage. Alright, so that's another quest done. are level 15. That is a pretty good indication that I my level is right, but uh, my gear not so much. just activated, but I activated something. Where even is the platform? The best that I can figure is that um, Crosscode might not play well with HDR. Also get this chest which contains a void charm for Arias.
Yeah, that's that's what I figured. I it seemed like the most likely problem. Hopefully that will not be the case with Alabaster Dawn, which by the way has uh, officially been announced. And if anyone's wondering if I'm going to play it, you really need to ask. I do wonder if, like, someone's going to, like, even if it's not the original authors, if someone's gonna, like, make some sort of HDR patch for this. Door Hall of the Phantom's boss to Arias. I didn't realize that by uh, shuffling the keys, I would be shuffling like. I'm not actually shuffling the keys for Astalon, I'm shuffling the doors. Anyway, the answer is yes. Of course, I'm going to be playing Alabaster Dawn. But this is a game that I'm going to be giving the uh, first two hours treatment to. So, oh, five levels of Reaper. That probably will uh, put some more stuff in logic for Final Fantasy XIV. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to be playing Alabaster Dawn. I'm going to be playing the first two hours on stream. And then I'm going to be playing the whole thing myself. And then I'll uh, come back and stream the game. Got four more checks, uh, four more chests here. This can be a confusing game to, to our route sometimes. And there's no way to get this chest until I have fire and the bronze key. I don't know if I have the bronze key. Uh, I mean, I guess I, I guess I can check. I forget what category it is. I think it would it would be here if I had it. So this building... Oh, this guy. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, yeah, no, I know about the quests. Hey, J Pop, how you doing? This is where I would put my relic. If I had one. I kind of wish that, like, when you look at the map, it would show you, like, exactly where you are in that map, instead of just putting the, the, uh, the cursor right in the middle of the current screen. Normal bridge? Why normal bridge if you could have laser bridge? This is the trading post. And yeah, there there is some pretty cool stuff here, but uh, a lot of it requires a lot of running around. I can get these feeling paws, but uh, that'd be a pretty big hit on max HP, but I would get Bullseye and Flash Step. Bullseye is increased crit damage, Flash Step is invincibility while dashing. And I don't have the materials for that. Yeah, generally, I think I would want to skip. Uh, I would want to stick with um, just standard vendor gear. Just enough money for it. Kind of wish there was an option for like just equip best gear. Oh, I have this. I guess I didn't need the iron goggles. I guess I could have just like checked any gear that I have received from the multi world first. Oh, but I probably... Hmm. No, that, that is an upgrade. Never mind, never mind. There we go. Now I have good gear. Well, that was lucky. Can I just wait for it? There we go.
Hey, why do I have to shoot? Oh, shoot over here. Right, this section. Ugh. Could have taken out the gunners if you brought rockets into the room. Unfortunately, I only need to actually finish this. I don't need to like do it in one shot or within a certain amount of time. At least this time. Suck if it took ten seconds. Oh, god damn it. Uh, well, J pop, they have a name for that. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. Like this, this section is kind of dumb. Then again, I think I can just guard through it, maybe? Okay, it does knock me back a little bit. But yeah, it gets really tricky when you have to redo this with uh, ice physics. Yeah, this is how I was supposed to do it. Just not in logic? Huh. Apparently that was out of logic. Not sure why that was out of logic, but it was. I'm gonna keep the second part of that for later. As a note, um, so there, there's kind of a running joke in this game where like you uh, are racing all of the dungeons with MED. And um, we're probably going to lose all of the races because like it gauges whether or not you win the race by how long you took to finish the dungeon. And since the dungeon keys are um, multi-world items, uh, I'm probably not going to be able to clear dungeons right away. I need the 
mine pass. Go to the mayor's orientation. Grand building north of Bergen. Did it give me the check? Um, I don't know that it did, actually. I'm looking at... Uh, I'm looking at the the text line that you see on the on the overlay and uh okay, which building are you talking about? House no. one, house two, only gliders, shop, car HQ, bar, storage room. Oh this. Sent high jump to Samus. That seems pretty important, actually. I can double check to see if I can open this. Yeah, the answer is no, I don't have the bronze key. D to Kirby. Oh, but I didn't receive the mine pass, so I can't actually go to the Bergen mine. Whoops. Um, well, it's worth taking a look at quests, I guess. button is to show quests. Well, anyway. Um, there we Another cow gone, another cow gone, another cow bites dust. Stop that. Yeah, we're kind of shredding here now. Can't wait to see um, like how Alabaster Dawn is gonna work out. So I need to go kill one more cow. Tactics. 
That's query, that's items, and that's map. So, plus is in the main menu. I still need to find a landmark. So I haven't gone west of this of this uh, map here. It will have a horse though. Okay. I see that all of you have chosen violence. Just there. Actually, very simple. I just loop our loop around here. There we go. Memory of distant world. I believe that's five now. As a reminder, twenty of those, and uh, that will complete Final uh, Fantasy fourteen. There we go. That's the last one. I thought I had checked this one actually. Maybe I like I came here and then died. Best that I can figure anyway. Like it does autosave when you leave the room, but if you get to the room and then don't survive, then it will not have autosaved. Alright guys, that, that's enough. Like I am I am legitimately trying to be like optimistic about Alabaster Dawn. Uh, return to Henry Autumn's Rise Pathway One. Why are people messaging me now? I forget which, uh, like, I think there are some quests that are checks and some that aren't. Let's see. 
Like, I could swear that there was a button that would, like, show me quests in, like, the top left corner. Or top right corner. I don't remember what it is. Now that is the one check that is uh, in this map and I require the gold key for it. been here, I think. And I need to come back here with some elements, I think. I was not paying I was not paying any attention to uh, exactly where it is this guy wants me to go. Ah, got it. Part of the problem as well is the fact that uh, I have some dead zone issues. And I'll come back to you in a minute here. First I'll send this white door catacombs top to Arias. these five levels of bard to have Aaron. There's still a building I haven't been to here. This one. I still find like the concept of this game kind of fascinating like the fact that like this is basically happening like on a moon that was terraformed like a trillion miles away like I don't remember exactly what the distance is but like from the from how technology has developed like, you just have to put on a helmet and you're just controlling this instant matter avatar from the comfort of your home on Earth. And I 
I should be able to turn this in. You're excited. Now there is also... I need to get... from here. Two veggie sets, two fruit sets, and a spice set. Hey, it's this guy again. This is the first place that you actually meet up with him. over here that I can turn in. a cast in Wookie Harbor that I need to talk to. I forget where he is, but I think he's in one of these buildings. I feel like we should have seen him by now, actually. Ah, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Probably wouldn't have seen it. We wouldn't have seen him from 
if he was in here. been to the oops to the info house here Actually been in the hermit's house. We've walked all over it, but not in it. Here it is. That was exciting. We penguins on mountains. That's a theme for swords. That should be all of the goats we need, possibly. I just need some of those stupid uh, Try it one more time. Nope. Oh, this way. Wrong way. It's up there. I'm probably going to keep trying it, like, every time I'm in the area. Yeah, these guys are rough, though. I love building snowmen. Peaceful snowmen. We have to deal with two of them. There we go. We got all the enemies. We got another level. Let's go. 
And then so I think there's uh yeah, there's the data probe. Data probe. And a probe in a cave of Bergen Trail. Well, that was incorrect. Hmm. This seems more like an exit than an entrance. To think of it, it's probably uh, I haven't checked my circuit panel in a bit. I should probably do that. I have nine circuit points. Uh, this is guard art. I don't use those a whole lot. Also, I'm a bit limited as to what I can do because I don't have the um, the correct shade for this. Very powerful attack that will hit exactly one of them. But yeah, the um, the skill tree for neutral is going to be more expensive than uh, the ones for elements because the ones for neutral apply to every element. Including, of course, no element. So I think there was a cave. I thought there was a cave in this room, I guess not. There is, however, this sand vial, just out in plain sight. Oh, there it was. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to go anywhere here without fire. We're going to be able to get this mine key. So when we're finally able to get to uh, the Bergen Mine, I have a little more to access. Also, then there was also South. South of this map. Oh yeah, the Bergen Ice. That was something that we needed for a quest back in Rookie Harbor. It's kind of a weird decision, but uh, that's what they did. Climb up 
here? Yes, I can. Landscapes, but they're a little hard to navigate sometimes. Also, this path here looks like it goes onto the same map. So, the path south here might actually be an exit. have to go back over here. to Linnaeus. Yeah, I'm going to go back to this landmark here. guys are auto aggro. Oh, and they're knocking me into the water rapidly. This is going badly. But basically the trick is you want to knock them into the water so that they are no longer protected. Oh god damn it. the water and then you take normal damage and you're dead. Cool. And then there are more of them. And you can eventually just destroy them anyway. It's just gonna take a lot longer unless you actually clean them up first. Ah! Get into the water! Get into the water! There we go, dizzy. Now I can just knock you in there. There we go. Y'all are dirty too. There we go, that's how you do it.
Okay. And now from here I should be able to go this way. And there's something here. There is one chest, but uh, I need the gold key for it. not the way there. But I have the feeling like this is probably the cave that I need to go to. Oh, okay. Um, I go up here. I should be able to jump onto this. And there we go. I had the gold key, I'd be able to get that. I do not. Ooh, a hidden cave. And I need fire. So that ain't gonna work. But I tried. That's how we get over here. That's how I get a Waddle Dee for Kirby. And yet I still don't have Cone Mouth, so um, I still can't actually finish the first real level. figure out how to get to it. Oh yeah, there it is. Now, this is probably going to involve killing you. Get over here. By yourself. Well, that's interesting. Anyway, that did not open the thing. Maybe I need to kill all of the goats, including these two. Throw your horns. Probably quit out of battle before uh, I take one too many hits. I don't know how to open that one. There is a chest though, and I think I should be able to get it. Oops.
Hmm. How do I get there? Oh wait. Yeah, I can make this jump. There we go. <laughs> Another wobbly. Well, there's another cave. So admittedly, my, uh, my check output here has not been great. Oh yeah, there, right, there's another cave here, but I need to actually get fire in order to get there. Well, whatever. I think I'm gonna call that good on crosscode for now. There's probably still some checks I can get some various chests here and there, but uh, I can wait for next time. So with that, it is time for break, and I think, hang on, I saw something. <sighs> Why is everything everything? Yeah, for some reason it's resetting the, the clock every time I make a new uh, split, so I don't know what's going on with that. I'm probably going to have to retime the session after we're done here or something because, like, it's saying that I have spent 7 hours and 35 seconds, but that was my time at the beginning of this stream. Ah, uh, time to fix what broken things I can fix. Um, which is probably not going to be a whole lot, but I'll see what I can figure out. Anyway, uh, y'all can take a moment, get something to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth, and in about 10 to 15 minutes, uh, might uh, give Samus a visit, I think, because I did get high jump. I don't know if that actually unlocks anything, but uh, give it a try anyway. So I'll see you after the break. <laughs>